to schedule your Pinterest pins using Buffer? Well, we're going to talk about it today. I've done a video on this topic in the past, but there are so many new features that are available. I'm so excited to show you what they are. Now, my name is Heather Ferris. I run a Pinterest marketing agency where I also teach inside of a paid membership group for students. And I run this YouTube channel on all things Pinterest marketing. It's kind of what I'm known for. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. We are covering the new Pinterest features within Buffer and how you can use them to affordably schedule your Pinterest pins. Now within this video, I'm gonna walk you through all those new features, including how to use the scheduling tool and all of that great stuff. So without further ado, I know that's why you're here. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about Buffer for Pinterest scheduling. What's changed, what's new, how to use it for as little as $6 a month. It's honestly the most affordable scheduler on the market if you're wanting to schedule just for one platform, let's say just for Pinterest, it is super affordable for you to use. So let's actually just dive right in. I have a previous Buffer account. If you have a Buffer account and you log in, it's probably gonna look something like this, especially if you don't have a paid account. If you need to start a new account, you're gonna need to start a new account and I trust that you can do that and get your payment information connected and get your Pinterest account connected. But we're gonna start from here as if we had an account previously because we did. So we're just gonna start with the alerts on the screen. It's gonna say, hey, please refresh your account. Please connect your email. Make sure you're logged into the correct Pinterest account and not someone else's if you're a Pinterest manager or a different, like your personal account if you are if you have more than one. Go ahead and click give access to the app and it's gonna just reauthorize Pinterest and buffer for working together and scheduling to your Pinterest account. Once that's done, we obviously need to also add billing because we don't have a paid account right now. So if I want to, upgrade to a paid account and be able to use some of the paid features, I'm going to need to upgrade. And I'm just gonna pay monthly because I don't know how long I'm gonna have this channel for. It's only six bucks a month. It's an extra $12 a year if you pay monthly, which honestly to have that um, freedom and flexibility, for me, that makes all the difference. So getting started here we're gonna add that twelve dollars a month now my credit card's already attached so this is gonna be super easy for me to do click subscribe they're gonna add some sales tax which is totally normal and once we are subscribed now we have access to features that we wouldn't have had access to prior on a free account so once we are in here, I want to first just start out by showing you some of the new features available to us. And one of the new features available I'm actually super excited about, and that's the UTM parameters. So let's just start off this tutorial by going into our settings and going through the things that we need to go through first and get all of our settings set up correctly. So Given that this would be a brand new account and there is nothing in here, I'm not going to need to clean any failed posts or empty my queue, but I love these features and I honestly wish some of the other schedulers had a really quick button to do that. But I will say this little feature right here is going to save you so much time when it comes to tracking your Pinterest pins inside of your Google Analytics. I teach inside of my Pin Profit Academy program inside the Pinterest system here on YouTube occasionally to use UTM parameters when scheduling your Pinterest pins so you can properly find those in your Google Analytics. So we're going to enable the campaign tracking and you can click and customize what you want your uh, campaign name, so, uh, source, and medium to be. I would just default to what they have here. And this is gonna go on all of your organic Pinterest pins and I think that's great. Now, um, Pinterest does not allow shortened links on Pinterest. There are some tools that do shorten some links for you. Uh, I would not suggest using them unless they are built into the tool itself. Buffer does not shorten links for Pinterest so we can ignore that setting. Now moving into our posting schedule setting, this is going to give you how many times a day, each day of the week that you want to post for. So we're gonna empty it, and then we're gonna say we wanna post every single day, and you can choose whatever posting times you want from here. 
um, and then you can just go through and add additional posting times and that will just continue to add on now I will say make sure you set your uh, scheduling like your time zone of when you want your pins to go out so I obviously live in Arizona so I want my pins to reflect my time zone so make sure you set your time zone of when you want your pins scheduled and what time you want them going out according to where you live okay let's just add two more little posting schedules so we kind of have some time spread out through the day now we have a really quick schedule now the one thing about buffer that i wish was different is i wish it would just allow you to add however many times per day you wanted to post really quickly and click generate posting schedule instead of making you go through and add the times manually that would be definitely something we can improve now that we are done with our posting schedule, I actually want to go over to this menu in the top right hand corner. It's the little nine boxes and go to integrations. Inside integrations, we are going to learn about how to connect our Canva account to Buffer. Now I really like this feature. There are other Pinterest schedulers that also have this feature. So what we're going to going to do is inside of our scheduler as we begin creating pinterest pins we are going to notice a new little feature available and that is going to be canva so we're going to create a post and down here where it says select a file uh, open that up and you can select a file from your desktop or down here in this drop down with the camera all of these other features and integration capabilities pop up and it's going to say canva click canva now again make sure you're logged into your own canva account when you do this otherwise you might end up importing content from someone else's platform and then i would suggest designing everything in canva and then going to buffer to import it i have noticed on another pinterest scheduler that uses the same integration that it is laggy and sometimes the saves don't actually save. The changes that you make don't actually save. I created a design here already and they are a little hard to see, but you can see here I've created this design in Canva over here. And now I'm just going to import this to Buffer. So this makes scheduling inside Buffer so easy, so fast. There's no need to eat up all of the space on your computer. You're not going to have all these downloads that you have to get rid of now, and you can simply just begin writing your description, your title, and your destination link. So I already have my link up of where I want this to go. And then I'm actually just going to use the same title here, buffer for Pinterest scheduling. And then I'm going to show you how to use the AI writing assistant. So another integration is the integration with OpenAI. OpenAI allows you, obviously, with ChatGPT to quickly write content, Pinterest descriptions, all of that great stuff. So if you click AI Writing Assistant, it's going to open up this little screen on the left, and then you're just going to click Next until you get to all of, you know, get through all of that getting started stuff. And it's going to say tailoring for this channel, so it's tailoring for Pinterest. Then I'm going to tell it I want you to write about, I want you to write a Pinterest description for this. Now, I've never actually used Buffer's AI Writing Assistant. We're using it together right now for the first time. So I'm hoping that the commands I give it, like don't use hashtags or emojis and please write 500 characters, I hope they take that information and actually use my prompt, but we'll see. So we're going to click Generate, and it's going to give us some um, content here. Now, of course, it, it seems like it's not going to use my commands of not using hashtags so I'm going to have to delete those and this description is not 500 characters long so I'm going to click expand and make it longer and then I'm going to insert it and edit it so I'm going to get rid of all of the hashtags I'd rather just simply use keywords and then I'm going to edit this for my own self okay so I've done my first pass of this description editing it more for voice and um accuracy than anything and now i'm going to go back and make a second pass and just make sure that my keywords are included okay i'm happy with that and now all we need to do 
is choose a board for it to go on. So I'm gonna choose my Pinterest schedulers board and then we need to choose a date that's beyond what we currently are on. So today is June 15th or July 15th. It's beyond 10 a.m. my time. So we need to choose a different um, slot. We need to choose the later time slot. So I don't know if you noticed I, what I was doing there, but if we go on today and we're obviously beyond the time that we were at the 10 a.m. time and it's already gone now. So if you click switch to a custom time, you can drop down and switch to a custom time or you can switch to scheduled slots and then choose your next open scheduling scheduled slot. And we set that up in our settings in the posting schedule section at the beginning of this video. Now we're gonna click done and it's going to give us the blue button now. Then we also have the ability at this moment to either send this in for approval. So if you're a Pinterest manager and you're working with someone and they want approval of the content before it goes live, then you could use this feature. I personally, as a Pinterest manager, would not at, like I would not do that. I would not be asking my clients to approve all the content as it is because they're going to change things. And once we get to this process, we want things to just go live. So if you're a Pinterest manager and you're looking at that feature, ignore it. Honestly, take my advice. So in this, we have save as draft or schedule post. So I'm going to go ahead and click schedule post. And you're going to see that this post is now in our queue for 503 Mountain Standard Time this evening. Now, once your post is in queue, you can quickly share it now. You can click the three dots to duplicate it. So if you wanted to duplicate and maybe send this pin to another board, which I really don't suggest doing, you're gonna schedule this one variation, then you can go ahead and schedule another variation on another day if you'd like to, to a different board. Or you can move it to drafts. You can also edit it and delete it. So you're in full control of your content here. And I really love the simplicity of this. You can also simply drag and drop posts to be to go in on other days. So if you didn't want it to go out today and you don't want to have to go through all the button clicks to get it to tomorrow, then you can also just simply drag and drop. Now I showed you how to use the AI tool and I showed you how to use the Canva integration, but let's actually look at how to just import pins from your desktop. So I have these pins that are ready to go. And we have this pin right here. This is actually a video. I'm gonna download it as a PNG file because I, I don't suggest scheduling videos through third-party tools. So I'm just gonna choose page two as a PNG and I'm gonna download it. And then I'm gonna show you how to just import content directly from your computer. So click schedule post, and then you can drag and drop files directly into that little box and it will pull right through. Now again, alternatively, you can use the tools that are uh, imported. So you can import or the, all the integrations. I'm just gonna use this one. And uh, this just pulled through obviously from the desktop. So then you would go through, you would add your pin title, add your destination link, and then your board. So change your board to whatever board you want it to go on. So let's just say we want it to go on that Pinterest schedulers board again. We need the URL. I'm just gonna use the same description that we wrote last time. So I'm gonna quickly just copy that over here instead of going through the rigmarole all over again. And then what I would suggest if you're scheduling pins to the same blog post and you've made several of them, I would just schedule them about a week apart minimum or you can schedule them um, a month apart. It really just depends on what you are looking to do. So again, you can do custom times or you can go to the time slots that are available on the day that's highlighted in blue and click done and schedule post. I always like to schedule content that's going to the same URL. I create multiple images for it and I schedule them about a week apart. That way I have plenty of other content going out in between and I don't have a problem with my profile just looking like I'm creating content that's the same over and over and over again. So these two I actually pinned back to back uh, for a client doing a live tutorial. So I wouldn't have done that actually in this instance, but you can see they look totally different. I'm using different keywords, I'm using different headers, different templates. So even if they do end up next to each other, they are 
different pins that go to the same URL and they still both got decent engagement. So that is the buffer Pinterest scheduler tutorial for 2024. I really love the simplicity of this tool. I have a blog post that you can read. I'll make sure to link it in the description down below where I cover uh, including buffer a bunch of other different scheduling tools and I review them. My buffer rating still stands. I love this tool. I love the capabilities. I'm going to be updating this as I get these videos published, um, updating my rating overall because the new tools, the new capabilities within buffer, including the AI um, writing tool for scheduling, it's so seamless, including the connection with Canva, like those really make this tool overall five stars. Again, I want to thank buffer. They have not sponsored this video, but they have allowed for such an affordable tool. And that's what I want to thank them for is the ease and accessibility of their tool to about anyone that has the capability to market on Pinterest and six bucks a month. So thanks buffer. I absolutely adore buffer for scheduling because of the simplicity, the ease of use, how affordable it is. Honestly, buffer makes it to where anyone truly can afford to use and schedule pins with their tool. So I'm going to be linking the blog post for the buffer tutorial as well as the scheduler review video and blog post down below if you'd like to look at any of those. And you want to head right on over here to continue your Pinterest marketing strategy. See you there.